did but, she spank? Um, did she spank? Or she did she spank? You know, we're from Asia, we get spanked, you know. No, there, there no. was no spanking. You know, she was actually always uh, uh, said that um, she wanted to teach by example, and she would always tell me what she thought and what she would do in my shoes. But very early on, you know, uh, she always said the decision is yours ultimately. And I think I've done the same thing with my kids. It's very difficult to ask your kids on one hand to understand adult problems and appreciate that things don't always, you know, divorce and separation and whatever, don't always go the way you hope that they do. And then uh, two minutes later, ask to be, you know, to reinstore, reinstate this parent child so once you trust them with one, you have to, you know, by default, trust them with with the other. And you have to sort of, you know, uh, responsibilize them and uh, and make them a partner rather <laughs> how, than a soldier. Through what she was going through personally, how did she keep the children or the family together? Just by being... Well, she Yes, by being there, by being there and by being a great mom and cooking and doing and coming to get you at school and going out to buy books and socks. And when it was a holiday and we had to get dressed up for something, she, you know, we'd go and rent outfit and help us with homework and, you know, wake up in the morning with her head, hair flat on her head. And, you know, let's go over that particular homework one more time. Normal things that, that all parents do or wish they could do if they're with their kids what do you how do you describe her to your daughter I, I don't my daughter very early on i told her who she was and listen she didn't particularly connect and then with time like me she sort of discovered her films i don't think that my kids have still seen all of her films or fully understand what it's all about but i'm not going to push it just like she didn't push on me i'm not going to push it on them when they're ready, uh, they will. But my daughter very early on became involved because of the children aspect of the nonprofits and the charities. She became involved in, you know, helping with events and setting up and art shows. And, uh, you know, she became a young ambassador for UNICEF and the High Commissioner, UNHCR High Commissioner for Refugees and traveled and did. So she's, it's once it becomes a family culture, that's that's easier to pass on than, you know, Words. when you pass a test a test on your grandmother and you know all the details about her Words. life. Yeah, this so is I think the important the important part of the legacy has been passed on. The details that'll come with time. 